We came out to observe a joint operation tonight between the city's enforcement services, traffic law enforcement, the metro police, and the South African police. Uh, this was extensively coordinated and planned. About 280 members part um, uh, involved in the operation. Uh, over five different focus areas, including joint operation between the city's Metro Police Gang and Drug Task Team and AGU, who executed eight different warrants, tracking and tracing operations, uh, searching for people with outstanding warrants, and uh, also visiting the parolees with the Department of Correctional Services. Also high visibility operations, traffic operations, including the ghost squad and the vehicle checkpoint behind me that is just busy wrapping up now as they uh, deal with the arrests they've made tonight, including for drunk driving, reckless and negligent driving, high speed, and um, some other arrests that were made as well. Uh, I must say it's very impressive to see these joint operations for SAPS and the extent to which the members work together. The joint operation center that we ran at uh, Mitchell's Plain SAPS and the cooperation and camaraderie between the, the members there uh, does show that we're able to, to work together at grassroots uh, here in Mitchell's Plain and at the police stations across the city. Uh, and really, this is the city trying to work with SAPS on those pressure points where we are having the most challenges. Mitchell's Plain being one of the areas where we are focusing at the moment, whereas in many of the areas we have seen re reductions in the crime rate quarter on quarter and the as an overall trend over time. In relation to the LEAP deployment, Mitchell's Plain has not shown those improvements. And that is in part because the crime is being displaced from the area of operation and we're now trying a slightly different approach, a more information-driven approach uh, with more um, oversight by our Safety and Security Investigations Unit doing watching briefs. And we've also brought in some um, expertise, external expertise, to come and advise us and take a different approach. So there's a particular pilot running in Mitchell's Plain around evidence-led policing where we are using the data we're collecting uh, and trying to, to do smarter policing to serve the, the public here.